In this video, we'll write the isotope notation for carbon. That's also called the nuclear notation or isotopic notation for carbon. To start out with, we have what we call hyphen notation right here. In hyphen notation, we write the name of the element, carbon. Sometimes we just write the element symbol as well. And then this 12 here, we put a hyphen 12. 12 is the mass number, the number of protons plus neutrons. So carbon 12 means the protons plus neutrons, that equals 12. Carbon 13, we have a mass number of 13, and then carbon 14, mass number of 14. Most of the carbon, if you had a block of carbon, most of the atoms would be carbon 12 isotopes, about 99%. The rest would be carbon 13 and just a little bit of carbon 14. So most of the atoms will have a mass number of 12. If we took an average atomic mass right here, that's on the periodic table, it's 12.01. So most of it's 12, a little bit of it weighs more than 12, so we get this 12.01 as our average atomic mass. To write the isotope notation, the nuclear notation, we'd write the element, that's carbon. And then we'd have the mass number here and the atomic number here. So the mass number, that's the 12. So let's put the 12 there. And for the atomic number, that's on the periodic table. That's this 6 here, the number of protons. So let's change this to 6. And this is the nuclear notation for carbon-12, this isotope of carbon with the mass number of 12. Sometimes for ionic charge, we'll put that up here. In this case, there's no negative or positive sign after the carbon. It's going to be neutral, so we'll just put a zero here. Sometimes you see this written, sometimes you don't. For carbon-13, we have carbon, mass number is 13, and the atomic number, it stays the same because this is carbon. So we have 6 for our atomic number. Again, we could put a zero since it is a neutral atom. So pause and write the isotope notation here for carbon-14. So we put our C for carbon, mass number is 14. It's carbon, so the atomic number is 6. And you could put a zero here to show the ionic charge. So this is how we write the nuclear notation for these isotopes of carbon here. We don't write the number of neutrons in this notation because we can figure that out. We know the mass number here. We know the number of protons. That's the atomic number. So we can just figure out the neutrons if we need to know that information. This is Dr. V with the isotope or nuclear notation for carbon. Thanks for watching.